good job. The way we are regarded by others deeply influences the way we feel about ourselves. Even young children take note of when and why they receive praise from others. When I was doing a great job at our house um, all day, um, we, we can get five treats or four or one. <laughs> While some parents praise effort and hard work, others are more likely to praise achievement. I was cleaning up all by myself and I cleaned everything up and she gave me some ice cold M&Ms. So at swimming, um, after all the classes are done, they give us a free ticket to Dairy Queen. And, oh. and why, when, what do you have to do to get a free ticket to, to Dairy Queen? All of us get it. You just have to swim hard. You have to try hard? Yeah. And if you, if you don't, if it's a mistake, you still get it because you just try. And we like practice our jump shots. And like running the hill. Two hundred maybe gets us our stronger legs. You do what? Two hundred. Two hundred what? Jump shots. And like five hundred push ups. According to psychologist Carol Dweck, children that are praised for high intelligence or achievement are often hard on themselves, and later view their failures as inherent to their intelligence. Well, when I get on the honor roll and stuff, my parents usually take me out for ice cream at Cold Stone, and yeah. Every like Saturday and Sunday we have like a basketball game. So um, after every win that night, we would go and get pizza cotta for like, just like celebrate the win. Usually uh, it's a bigger deal if you succeed than if you try because everyone tries, but only uh, a select few succeed. Children praised for hard work, on the other hand, react more positively to failure. They are later more concerned with improving their skills and learning new things than they are with specific judgments of their ability. I think it's more important that you try hard. I mean, like, you, like, the, I've heard that the only way to get, the only way to fail is to give up. 